This is the volume of prisms and cylinders tutorial. Let's begin by learning how to calculate the volume of a right prism. The formula for the volume of a right prism is volume is equal to the area of the base times the height of that prism. So let me show you an example. We'll use a rectangular right prism. So in order to calculate the volume of this prism, we want to begin by finding the area of the base. Now you have two potential bases here. You have this top base, this long rectangle, and you have this shorter square base. I'm going to use the shorter square base on the side. We know that this side length is 4 inches across the top, and this side length is 4 inches. So we're dealing with a nice square here. So to calculate the area of a square, it's just the side length squared. So the area of r square is just 4 squared. And we're dealing with inches, so the area of r square is 16 square inches. It's square inches because we're dealing with area, and area is calculated in two dimensions. Now that we know the area of our base, we just want to multiply that by the height. And since we were referring to this base right here of this prism, the height is going to be this length along the bottom. And that length, you know, has a length of 10 inches. So the volume of this prism is equal to the base area, which is 16 square inches, times the height, which is 10 inches. So this right prism has a total volume of 160 cubic inches. Now remember, it's cubic inches when you're referring to volume because volume is in three dimensions. There is this dimension, this dimension, and this dimension. So it's going to be cubed unit. Now let's move on to calculating the volume of a cylinder. The formula to calculate the volume of a cylinder is volume is equal to the area of the base times the height of that cylinder. So let's take a look at this cylinder right here. Now the area of the base that we're referring to are these circular bases on top and bottom of the cylinder. And since both of those bases are circles, to calculate the area of that base we're going to use the area of a circle formula, which is pi times the radius squared. In this case they've provided the radius of that circular base. It's 5 centimeters. So the area of our circle is going to be pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25, so the area of our circle is equal to 25 pi. Now some teachers will ask you to actually multiply out 25 times pi. Since pi is an irrational number, however, 25 pi is actually the most exact form to write it in. So now that we know the area of our base, we want to multiply by the height of our cylinder. And in that case, it's going to be 15 centimeters for this cylinder. So, now that we know the area of the base of our cylinder, we can multiply by the height, 15 centimeters, to solve for the volume of this cylinder. So, volume of a cylinder is equal to the area of the base, in our case, 25 pi, times the height, 15. So, 25 times 15 is 375. So the volume of our cylinder is 375 pi centimeters cubed. 